Hello everyone. Welcome to the another part of Astra UGV. Here you guys are going to watch the mind detection techniques and the adopted ones. As we know, mind is an inevitable part of our project. It starts from there itself. So, let's have a look on what is a landmine. It is an explosive weapon buried under the earth. When we apply force on it, it creates a pressure on the explosive material inside it. Then the explosion happens. Deactivation is the is estimated at 1 lakh mines per year against nearly 2 million mines late annually. Guys, in the world, many countries still keeping the landmines in their weapons. Whatever, it is not supported by the United Nations by knowing the danger that it creates. That it is the growing concern due to the danger of buried landmines to people's lives, economic growth and development. So guys, let's see the mostly using effective sensor technology available used to detect the landmines. But there is a lot apart from this. Here we are just discussing on we are just discussing the most important and the effective ones. That is the electromagnetic detection is the most performing way and the effective way. The landmine detection using electromagnetic radiation is based on the difference between electromagnetic properties of the target and the ground. There are several versions of this. They typically differ in operating frequency, bandwidth, etc. Metal detection is the first one under this. The metal detection technique is based on electromagnetic induction. The main advantage of this technique is its ability to detect the metal objects diamond the metal objects dimensions less than 1 cm at a depth of 50 cm can be detected. It has low cost, it is reliable in all weather conditions and soil moisture conditions, etc. Another one is the GPR technology. It operates by transmitting the electromagnetic signal into the soil and detecting the reflected signal at the receiver. The transmitter emits a pulsed wave or a continuous wave with a given frequency. The receiver collects the waves backscattered by the discontinuities in the permittivity. The discontinuities can be caused by both buried objects like landmines and the natural discontinuities in the soil. The main advantage of this technique is its ability to detect plastic objects buried in the ground. As a result, it can be used to find the landmines with different types of casting. This one is the microwave radar. This technique is based on the transmission of short wave radio and microwaves. The radiation pulses from antenna into the ground and measuring the time for reflection to return to, return to the same antenna. The reflections occur at the boundaries between the different dielectric constants that are normal to the incident radiation. The next one is the millimeter wave radar. Recently, novel active Millimeter wave radar scan scanning system has developed for the detection of buried landmines. It is a hyperspectral system that collects images at different millimeter wave frequencies using a vector network analyzer that collects the backscattering millimeter wave radiation from the buried sample. The next one is the Electrical impedance tomography. It uses electrical currents to produce a conductivity image of an area being invested for landmines. Some electrodes are placed around the edge of the area and then the combination of electrodes are stimulated in sequence to produce the electrical conductivity contour map. As both metallic and plastic landmines have different conductivities from the soil, they appear on the map and can be removed. Here is the sample 
way of demonstration of the landmine. We used FSR sensor and 10K resistor, 10K ohm resistor, buser, Arduino, jumper wires, etc. In it is there in the picture. Just arrange the things like this and embed the code using an Arduino software. It is the code for the design. The first one is the in buzzer equal to 5. That is declares the buzzer pin at 5. And the in buzzer int FSR analog pin equal to A0 declares the FSR at analog pin A0. Int FSR value equal to 0 says the analog value as integer. And the two portions void setup and void loop are there. There it sets the FSR as output and sets the buzzer as output in the in the void setup portion and in the void loop portion reads the FSR and store it in the integer and set the buzzer duty set the buzzer duty to ratio. Here is some of the circuits that we have gone through to make the metal detection possible. It is the first one but this has some limitations and some configuration problem so we haven't adopted this one. This one is a complex thing and it have it also having some configuration problems so we moved from this. Next one it have some configuration problems and the some uh, noise problems etc and also it is not having much deflection created for each metal detection once this one creates a deflection but have some configuration problems like if you are if you are detecting uh, plastic and wood it creating some problems like the noise problems and in no and nothing is deflected using using this circuit including the metals too for the plastic and the metal it creates the same peak value so we moved out from this it also has some problems and limitations so haven't used it in the circuit we have adopted some changes and at the, from this we created our own circuit and our own circuit and code to create the perfect metal detection one and in this we have used the 35 SWG wire LED buzzer 103 ceramic capacitor 1N418 diode and 220 ohm resistor and the wire was of 40 turns and 5 cm diameter. This is the actual and the perfect metal detection circuit. Here we have used the buzzer LED, two resistors, the center diode and the 10 NF capacitor. It is composed of the primary coil and one of the secondary and one more for the secondary coil that is the two ends. The metal detection is possible by creating an induction around the coil and using, using that it creates some deflections. It creates some deflections and we are getting the result. If there is more deflection we get a high peak value when the metal is getting detected there will be a detect a good peak value and can be and, and we can say that the metal got detected we have gone through many circuits and finalized on this we are using 10 nf capacitor two resistors of 1k and 330 ohm led buzzer and center diode and winded a coil for of 20 to 30 turns and it was finally looked like this 
if anything detected it shows a high peak like this in the graph for each material there is different deflections for the code i will share the link below and some test details are also will be shared here we have tested using aluminium steel plastic wood etc and each created different level of deflection the metal are only detected by this the plastic wood will not create any deflection and goes the gra and goes the graph in a normal mode here we have three lines that shows each metals have three different deflections and also the high peak and the next high peak detects that the metal got detected so somewhere in the ground and finally why we you what are the technologies we have used in the astra ugv product project here gpr and gpr metal detection open cv are the technologies we adopted here in our project we because as we know there is not only the metal type mines there is plastic wood too so detect the most efficient the technologies so to detect them the most efficient the most efficient is the technologies mentioned above adopting a single technology may create a drawback in case of different types of soils etc so we are using gpr and metal detection and open cv for this it is a combined portion if there is any drawback for the metal detection it will be it will be solved by the gpr and the open cv this is using open cv we can train new mine designs and can detect and using metal detection and gpr we detect all type of mines like plastic metal wood etc as the metal detection can be used in all types of soil but we can use the gpr in dry lands only so the gpr if have a if the gpr it is using the radar technology if it have a drawback it is solved by the metal detection method this is all about this section thank you for watching the watching the video thanks everyone